arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. First and goal from the seven. Should have had it. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Marching down the field and taking their time. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second and goal from the seven. Intercepted. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The defense has done its job and given the offense the chance to take the lead before we reach halftime. Yeah, that's what you like sometimes. You like to get momentum on your side. The defense makes the play. Now the offense has a little freedom. They here and take a chance and if, if you take the right chance that'll lead to points the Buccaneers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary they'll go nickel Kelsey's got the catch and the first third down after the completion Smith will have it in the pistol Jamal Charles carries the football it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. We're midway through the second, and this game is turning into a classic old-school defensive showdown. Yeah, it sure is. How about the coaches on both sides? Are they sitting over there shocked that the fact that this might turn into a defensive battle? We know it's always about high scoring going forward. This is fun to watch, to see something a little different. The Chiefs that time go for it on fourth down, and they fail. I did not understand the decision. But you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. You got to keep them up. First and ten. Austin Safarian Jenkins has the catch. Two minutes to go in the first half and a first down. And now we reach the two minute warning here in the second quarter. Winston standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. The Buccaneers all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Martin's got it, screenplay. The Buccaneers' offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. The Buccaneers lined up. Everybody split out wide. Third down and one. And that's a two-yard game. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Only eight yards to go. First and goal from the eighth. Doug Martin with the grab. Tampa in the end zone for the touchdown. Martin's second touchdown of the game. Inside of the upright. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. Davis got it on the return. Still, ball is out. They pick up the loose ball, and here they go. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kick teams, the kickoff team, this time they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. Here we go. First down at the 22. Has Jackson. Jackson's tap. drag route across the field it is not as easy as it looks you're running fast you have to catch the football right in stride and you cannot see what's in front of you. Winston's gonna scramble the ball is fumbled the defender downs him as he's already on the ground that makes it official the Chiefs with the ball back now benefiting from the
over after giving the ball up themselves just a few minutes earlier. We're seeing mistakes start to accumulate here, Phil, for both teams. Yeah, I think Jim. Before there's another snap, the officials want to go back and take a look at that last one. So they're looking to see if the ball can. before the knee was down. I think when you look at these plays, most of the time it's pretty easy to determine. Uh, Jim, you know, you can, it's just always a clear shot. When that knee hits the ground, you can freeze that shot and determine. He runs it across. Touchdown. We're approaching halftime, and with that touchdown, they have a little extra breathing room before the break. Oh, man, they're inhaling big time, and they love the way they feel right now where they're at in this football game on the defensive side. You got some information. You saw what they're doing on the other side, so make some adjustments and find a way to get back in and, and get a way to win this game. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. The Chiefs really let it all hang out the last time they had the ball, Phil. They went for it on fourth down to their own territory. Let's see if they're a little more conservative with this possession. Well, you know, it's amazing. I want to say really a good defensive call by the defensive coordinator, but let's be honest, when you're backed up and you go for it on fourth down situation, situation like that, anybody who made that call, so just a bad, bad decision on the offensive side. If there was a beat writer covering this coach, what do you think the headline would be tomorrow in his story? It might be the first time I've ever agreed with the beat writer. That's reception number two for him. The Chiefs call a timeout. They're first. <laughs> Alex Smith's going to take it from the shotgun. Looking to go deep. He brings it in. A timeout charge to the offense. First down coming up. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. And that's a touchdown. And they inch closer. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Buccaneers have put together a tremendous offensive performance here, but still it's just a one-possession game because their defense isn't holding up its end of the bargain. You know, when you're in a game like this where the offense is playing well and your defense is really struggling, you don't say anything to the defensive players. You know why? Because, hey, next week it might be just the opposite. So go out there on the offensive side, take advantage of this situation, and pick it up for your defense. And we're back now at Raymond James Stadium. Jim Nance with Phil Sims on site for the beginning of the third quarter. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Chiefs talk things over at the intermission. I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The Chiefs did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough. What does it do? What do you say? It leads to a score. Smith's completion percentage, 80% on the day. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Smith's going to take it from the gun. Up in the air and comes down with the catch. The offense needs two yards here on third down after the completion. Sherman's going to take the handoff from 